Will the sun come out and light up the Catskills foliage? There's just a strip of gold from where the sun is peeking through the clouds. Today we'll be driving through Tannersville, Phoenicia, and Woodstock in the Catskills. And then I'll be spending the night in Kingston, New York. This is Tannersville, which is called the Painted Village. This area had gotten really run down in the past couple of decades and a New York City artist bought a house here. And it was a pretty dreary property, so she painted it some very bold colors. And she convinced some other people here to do the same thing, to liven things up and maybe attract some business and some tourists and a more artistic community. And it worked. The reason this area became run down is because it's just a few miles from the Borscht Belt, which were resorts that New York City Jewish people vacationed at in the summertime until around the 1970s, when people could get on a plane and go elsewhere. I read that they're working on a museum near here about the Borscht Belt. I'd come back to see that. A lot of famous Jewish comedians performed at the resorts like Milton Berle, Mel Brooks, George Burns, Rodney Dangerfield. Most of the resorts were abandoned now, but they were quite luxurious with indoor skating rinks, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, tennis, golf, nice restaurants that served mostly kosher food. There was a Jewish subculture in the Catskills for about 50 years. Damn shame there's no sun to light up this scenery. I'm keeping an eye out for roadside attractions instead. Quirkiness is weatherproof. This is the town of Phoenicia. These little towns only have a couple hundred residents. The tourism here is geared toward hunting and fishing. That's why Davy Crockett is here. The ultimate outdoorsman. I thought he belonged to this antique shop, but he belongs to the sportsman's bar next door. Babe Ruth used to drink at that bar. So I guess it used to be a manly bar, but now it has umbrellas. Davy looks pretty good considering he received a bad beating from some vandals a while back. I guess they nursed him back to health. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Looks like an interesting place. Too bad it's closed for the winter. Mystery Spot Antique Shop. Feels strange being in a town surrounded by mountains. Like I'm in a miniature village that nobody knows about. I've seen a lot of beautiful churches in the area, but I think this is the only one that looks Catholic. The Irish came to the area after the Dutch. They worked in the tanneries making leather. This is Woodstock, and I was excited to be going to the town that had the music festival in the 1960s but Woodstock was actually held 60 miles away in a town called Bethel. It was called Woodstock because the festival was created by a company called Woodstock Ventures. Yeah, I'm seeing galleries. Woodstock has been an artist colony since the Hudson River School of Landscape Painters spent time here in the 1800s. This is a completely art-oriented town. Writers, musicians, theater, they even have an artist cemetery here. But there's something unique up a mountain near here that I want to see. Something I've never seen before. Listen to my van struggle up the mountain. This camper van weighs about five tons and the transmission on ProMasters are the worst. I plan on avoiding mountains as much as possible. I traumatize myself driving up and down Mount Washington, and I'm not used to the altitude. 
I'd rather look at a mountain from the distance anyway. This is a Tibetan Buddhist monastery, and I hope I can find a parking space. A lot of signs here threatening parking fines. The monastery is called Kama Triyana Dhamma Chakra, and that translates to Karmapa's Dharma Wheel of the Three Vehicles, which represent the three paths of enlightenment. parking look like they're from India, not tourists, like members of the temple congregation here for Sunday service. Even though I don't see anyone that looks like a tourist, this temple is open to the public. I'm going to park in this corner here and walk to the temple. What are those little buildings? They look very old. The Church of the Holy Transfiguration, built in 1891. It's a Western Orthodox Catholic Church. The main difference being that they don't see the Pope as a supreme being. In the 1960s, a hippie priest ran this church and he attracted a hippie congregation. It's strange seeing a tiny, simple Catholic church like this. They all usually look like the one I just saw in Phoenicia. These are open to tourists, but they still have mass, and today is Sunday, and I can hear beautiful hymns being sung. These are prayer flags. Each color represents the elements of air, fire, water, and earth, and the directions of north, south, east, west, and center. Close to the public, they must be having services today. I picked the wrong day to visit. I see some people on the ground, so maybe they won't mind if I check out the courtyard. The architectural design and the decorative elements and the colors all have meaning to Buddhists. White symbolizes purity, red symbolizes power. Sounds like they're speaking Indian. Some of the decorative patterns represent wisdom or strength or a spiritual journey. A Buddhist monk. He looks American. To become a Buddhist monk, you have to give up all your worldly possessions. You don't work an outside job. Your life is devoted to Buddhism and the Buddhist community. So you would be unmarried and there would be a vow of chastity. And you commit to a life of compassionate deeds and selfless service. A gong is sounded at the beginning and the end of a meditation session and it can also ward off negative energy. These look like chess pieces. Some of these mythical creatures represent strength and protection. Coins bring good luck. probably built a temple in Woodstock because an artist community is very open and accepting to just about anything, while other rural areas aren't always tolerant of anything different. I just spent the night in Kingston, New York, and I'm driving downtown out of curiosity. What a cool little city. 
How come I've never heard of it? This is another artist community. Kingston was the capital of New York in the colonial era. I gotta come back and spend more time in this area. This is something I see fairly often across the country in rural areas. Metal artists displaying their work right out in the front of their property. Birds. I wish I could get closer. A reproduction of a Pink Floyd album. It says, Big Ass Truck Drive. Another bird and a slice of pizza? Look at this beautiful artwork. A food truck. If the food is as good as the artwork, it must be delicious. I had to stop and check this out. This is Millerton, New York, and there's a metal spider on an old muffler shop. Two dogs guarding the place. They're chained up because why not? And there's this giant fire bowl, big enough for a human sacrifice. I'm going to guess this is an artist's studio now, but there's not much in there to confirm that. And no information on the internet. A roadside mystery. Love it. Well, it didn't take long for us to find an authentic 1940s diner. This is Collins Diner in Canaan, Connecticut. It's a 1941 Jerry O'Mahony Diner which is the name of the company in New Jersey that produced these roadside diners. They produced 2,000 of these up until 1952. And these were made to look like a train car and it happens to be right next to railroad tracks. And it looks like we've got a train museum here. An accordion museum? I just struck quirky gold. I gotta check this out. Just one accordion sitting on the floor? How sad. Oh wait, dozens, maybe even hundreds of accordions and they're beautiful. Such detail in the workmanship. Here I was coming over to make fun of accordions and their gorgeous works of art. You have to make an appointment to go inside. It's a lonely life being the accordion museum man. Let's check the train museum. Free admission, count me in. Close, 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 close. And today is not Saturday. We'll finally get some luck. Trains always have the best graffiti.
is a beautiful mural somewhere here in Connecticut. Doggy Daycare and Resort. Connecticut came through today with some good stuff.